Zach Jordan. A lot of people are thinking the exact same thing. Now, just to give you a glimpse, not five minutes ago, people were shoveling themselves as well as neighbors out of parking spots and the side of the road. And residents tell me earlier today they feel the city isn't doing their job. Local neighborhoods and side roads still yet to be plowed after Wednesday's massive snowstorm. 60 year old Tracy Long has been shoveling snow all day for his elderly neighbors and looks at the effect of what the city streets will look like once the snow freezes over. You know what this is going to be tomorrow? It's going to be difficult. They're going to have to work all night to get this done. I'm going to do as much as I can, you know, and uh, it's just a shame. The city's efforts, or lack thereof, have community members like Tiffany Musi frustrated. It is extra frustrating because they usually do do our roads, and this year, I mean, literally no plow has gone down through it all. No icing, no nothing. We just need help. <laughs> Be prepared. Everybody knew this was coming. Be prepared. Four or five o'clock in the morning or, or however early it should be, get the trucks ready and go to certain neighborhoods, write a schedule and get it prepared, get it done. Other residents understand patience is needed, but enough is enough. They understand that there's so much that they have to keep up on, but it was a little ridiculous that it took up until this evening to get a first plow down this road. It seemed like they, they move the snow only when they have to. They let the storm come in, and then after the storm is over, then they'll move the storm. Cars still stuck in the middle of the street with residents in Elmira demanding answers. Now, Zach, Jordan, I'm standing here on Spalding in mid. I'm going to step aside just a little bit just to give you a glimpse of how this street has not been touched yet. And a car just went down and not too long ago and got stuck, but he made his way out of it. But we spoke to city officials earlier today, and they do tell us that more plow trucks will be out in the morning to get the rest of the snow. And this is to ensure that the city of Elmira residents drive safely throughout the winter. Live in the south side of Elmira, Daryl Matthews, 18 News.